Apparently, the Labour Party has finally broken into two. One faction led by Abue, and the other faction is being led by Lamidi Apapa, and it is the Lamidi Apapa's faction that decided to suspend Kenneth Okonko, who is the publicity secretary to Labour Party. You guys would not believe what happened just after they announced the suspension of Kenneth Okonko and 20 other people, 20 other members of Labour Party for allegedly doing anti-party activities. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Barely 24 hours after Labour Party suspended Kenneth Okonko, for exposing Peter Obi's plans, see what he said that shocked everyone. Nigerian actor, com politician Kenneth Okonko had reacted to his alleged suspension by the Lamidia Papa faction. It could be recalled that Labour Party suspended Kenneth Okonko, who was their acting national publicity secretary, and some of their state chairmen and secretaries. According to the report, the National Executive Council of Labour Party suspended 12 of its members, including Kenneth Okonko, in the early hours on Thursday, 4th of May 2023. Stating their reasons, it was reported that the Labour Party spokesman Kenneth Okonko and 11 suspended members were allegedly involved in anti party activities and unruly behavior against the factional party chairman, Alaji Bashiru Lamidia Papa, in their statement, and I quote, that the NEC in session also considered the action of 12 of its members, namely Obi Oraifo, Kenneth Okonkwo, Pastor Mrs. Adebayo Ekong, Comrade P.G. Igene, Engineer Adiola Adibanjo, Pastor Funke Awulowo, Sam Emeka, Okpala, Barista Fulusho Lige, Fola Kemi Collins, Comrade Olubumi Adesanya, Lanri Adenuga, and Dr. Olatubosu Oswad for their anti party activities and unruly behavior against the party leadership, which include issuing statements without authority of a party. The neck in session therefore suspended them from the party. The neck in session therefore suspended them from the party. Barely 24 hours after this suspension, the Labour Party spokesman Kenneth Okonko reacted to the report of his suspension. Kenneth Okonko, while speaking in an interview with New Central TV, said, and I quote, How can I be thinking that some group of people who are not members of the Labour Party by the constitution of the Labour Party will have the right to suspend anybody. As they were doing that in Bauchi, I was attending a meeting at the National Office of the Labour Party. So tell me who has the right to suspend who. I was with all the state's chairmen and members of NEC when I heard about my suspension. And these guys were borrowing in Bauchi and saying they are suspending people. Let me say one thing that is clear. There is no crisis in Labour Party. There is no faction in Labour Party. The process by which national officers of the Labour Party emerge is clearly stated in the constitution of the Labour Party. In Article 13 1b, it is only the national convention that has the rights to elect or remove the national officers of the Labour Party. Reacting to his statement, netizens took to social media and dropped their two cents below as some reactions. 
at Vixen Roads. The fact remains that these Apapa faction are no longer Labour Party members. They are being sponsored by another political party to disorganize the part, but Labour Party and the supporters are wiser than them. At David Rhodes, which neck members your real chairman sacked you and you are telling the world that you are with them? Why Igbo is always with deadly lie like this? No wonder OB from third position is claiming first. Hmm. At Yomi Roads, that native doctor looking at Papa, the drug addict, is one of Steve Sinubu Stoge, is just enjoying the drug money given to him. After taking some drugs and Ogoguru, he will say one thing to please those sponsoring his drug lifestyle. So apparently, Namidia Papa, you know, went ahead to suspend those people that were not in support, that are not, pardon me, that are not in support of his faction or that are not in support of his rule, that are not in support that he should take over from Aburi. You know, those people that are still meeting up with Aburi and, you know, saying Aburi has the Labour Party chairman, the Lalamidi faction thought it wise, you know, to suspend these people. They felt that if they pronounce their suspension, so automatically these people will be suspended. Whereas these people are still having meetings, you know, with Abure. They are still having with meetings at the National uh, Labour Party National uh, Building in Abuja. So my question now is, how does the pronouncement of their suspension affect anything? Because these, these, there's no difference, you know. Things are still going on as no, as it would not, at, at, as it should, or at as or as it would normally. So it's as if <laughs> the their their suspension has no effect. According to Kenneth Okonkwo, when he heard about the suspension, he was having a meeting with other chairmen and secretaries in Abuja. And they probably just laughed it up, laughed it off. Let me get your opinion in the comment section, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.